This is St. Giles Church and it dates back to the 11th century. There was a chancel added in the 1300s and it is absolutely dominating the area around on this outcrop of hillside as you look around towards Sandiacre. And Sandiacre is just down there and that is a parish village in Derbyshire. This is lovely. When I've walked the Arrowwash Canal over all the years, the last 20, 30 years, I've always seen this on the hill but I've never actually been up to it and it is absolutely it does not disappoint absolutely beautiful so I'm gonna have a quick look around and see what else it's beautiful building has to offer you just have to love this blue brick pathway don't you it really adds quite a bit of decor to such a beautiful building leading to what looks like a very, very small door. Let's have a look. So I'd have to crash down to get through that. So the top of my head comes to there. Look how low down the keyhole is. That's remarkable, isn't it? And that fine blue brick guttering around the edge of the main stonework. This church was restored between 1855 and 1866 and it was also had a little bit more work done to it in 1886 and further work was carried out in 1883 it had some new pews installed and an absolutely brand new organ look at those gargoyles over the top can you see them right in the center and there's a different one just there right in the center again and what a fine tower also in 1883, it was brand new bells added to the tower. Also gas chandeliers, that must have added some really amazing ambience. The atmosphere in there must have been amazing. And in Mr. Church, he built the pipe organ that sits in there now. And that was back, well, a lot more recently, 1977. So rather than walk around the edge on the grass, on the blue brick drainage, we're going to follow the path around and see what it looks like on the other side. I just love a dark staircase that goes down to a forbidden door but on this case I'm just going to respect it because of the ground it's on but I'll show you what it looks like concrete steps down to that door down there who knows what may lay hidden below there but as usual we'll respect what it says So coming from that end look you can see the moat like blue brick drainage gutter coming down from the drain pipes looks like it disappears below ground and probably makes its way down the hillside towards where the river Arrowash and the Arrowash canal both reside some beautiful windows you can almost see through them faded stained glass got more busts or gargoyle heads and Again, on all of the pillars, there is a unique design gargoyle, which unfortunately I can't get close enough to really get a picture of. But if we come around here, you can see the view that you get from up here. So what's interesting to note from the viewpoint 
is over there you can see another church spire and that is St Helens of Stapleford further beyond that just to the left you may see another one and that is the one at Bramcote and if you recently watched a video where I went to a place called Bob's Rock and the cemetery at Stapleford that is between both of those spires just over there Bob's Rock is a similar distance beyond St Helens Church and it is again over to where Bramcote is Okay, I do hope you enjoyed this short little video of St Giles Church in Sandy Acre, Derbyshire. Thank you very much. You can like, subscribe. I occasionally do things like this and I occasionally do a heck of a lot of other stuff too. So it would be lovely to have you on board. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.